Hello, friends. I'm still running two Gs. No, we're in a terrible area right now. It's about 2.26 p.m. and uh, it's Sunday. And we're heading back because I have to work tonight. Um, boo! And you have your wrestling podcast. Yeah. Gold Standard Wrestling Report. Yep. Yeah, buddy. And what about you? I'm tired. <laughs> I, I can't agree with that one, too. We're all tired. Um, so we're going to do a bit of a trip report. Uh, there wasn't a day two, but I did post it on my Twitter. By the way, if there's anything that we don't post on YouTube, we'll post on Twitter about what's follow, going on. Okay, follow at the undercover Brony. It's uh, at Brony's Rule 21. At Brony's Rule 21 and at B. Kosadowski, which is my last name. So you'll link that in the description as well. Yep. We'll link everything in the description for you. So, um... It was one hell of a con, wasn't it? Episode 100, holy shit. We got to see it. Well, I did at least. Me and Mike did. We got to see episode 100 with other, with like close 500. To a thousand. It was close, close to, to a thousand, thousand people. Yeah. And getting to see all that stuff. And what's so great is during the Vinyl and Octavia music battle, they put the rave lights and they started playing that. Um, and I have video of that. So, well, at least of the rave light setup when it's playing. Um, after that, M.A. Larson came on and kind of talked about what kind of stuff he was looking to put into the episode, but maybe have gotten cut or whatever. Um, one of them was when it was zooming out of town hall at the end of the episode, it was going to be a changeling army coming down. Uh, Vinyl was originally going to talk, but Hasbro told him no. And uh, would you seriously want anyone other than No Whacking? No, I want No Whack. I wish they would have called No Whacking to do the voice. Well, maybe someday. However, it was really good. Um, Friday was absolutely hysterical. Because um, I don't remember exactly when it was. It was uh, during opening ceremonies or something like that. Um, Black Griffin, one of the panels, uh someone asked him what his favorite ship was and he on a whim trying to be funny said it's flash century and my oc and people made freaking artwork of it literally that night during the rave setup uh they were about to perform a new song which i have this all on video as well um they had some technical difficulties. They go back, and when they come back forward to the stage, Black Griffin notices, holy crap, they have artwork of my OC and, uh, and frickin' Flash Sentry smooching. This I'm fandom like, is way too quick. It is way too quick. Apparently someone commissioned and got it ready and printed off, and people were selling them at the convention. It was hysterical. So what all did you get for this con? What did I get? Yeah. Uh, I got a little, I got a wooden coaster with, uh, why can't I not think right now? I'm super tired. Freaking, uh, why can't I not think of her freaking name? Spitfire? No, no, Spitfire is like double image. Oh. Freaking, uh, episode one of the season. I don't remember. The it, freaking the blue one. Oh, sorry. No, no, the freaking the blue Pegasus that looks like freaking a uh, Spitfire. Oh, um, Night Glider. Night Glider, yeah. Yeah. It has a cutie mark in it, like all engraved and everything like that. It's pretty badass. Um, I bought Doctor Who's vinyl. Hopefully, Peter New will be at the next convention. I can get him to sign that. Because mm -hmm. uh, he did voice. Doctor Who's. I was so happy about that. Yep. Um. What else I got? I got a. I got a uh, print of Discord. He, like he looks like a principal. It looks like, or a, or a manager of a of something. 
and um, it's got a lot of crazy things in it. It's um, Employee of Infinity is Fluttershy, of course. And it's got like uh, Twilight and Princess Celestia as like um, statues on the corners of the desk. And he has like one of them little bubblegum freaking uh, chocolate rain uh, clouds or whatever. It looks mm -hmm. like a tree and it's raining on Twilight. Yep. And it's a lot of discorded stuff. It's actually really cool. <laughs> there was another one where it's a piece of paper and it literally says, look in, look closer, closer, butts. <laughs> Just like, wow. Uh, um, what else? Oh, I bought Emmy Larson's book, Penny Royal Academy. Yes, finally. And if you bought it at the convention with tax, it was 1823, you get a free uh, autograph. Yep. So I got the free autograph from Emmy Larson. And I can't wait to actually start reading it. It's going to be a great book. Oh yeah, and uh, bought a bought a pin and a couple other little badge clips. So my uh, my badge line here is really really heavy now. So yeah, <laughs> I, I swear I'm gonna have like I'm gonna end up getting like neck I'm gonna have to get neck surgery because I'm gonna have like twenty eventually like twenty five pounds on my neck. It's only because he decided to put all of his con badge stuff on one. Why not lanyard? Well, no, it's, it's on multiple lanyards now. Oh, it's on two? Yeah, it, it's gonna eventually be like three or four. Okay. <laughs> so much fun. Yeah, it's. I'm gonna look like freaking uh, Dr. Dre or something like that, or a rapper having like a gold chain around his neck or something like that. That's like uber size or whatever. Yeah. Get the flow, yo! We both got signatures from Kathy Westlock and Tabitha St. Germain. I got two on St. Germain. I got well, you, because you had Rarity and Luna. I just had Luna. I don't really care for the rarity vinyl. Well, I'm eventually so. gonna try to get them all signed. Like every single one I have, I'm gonna eventually find their VAs. Because I'm going to BronyCon, which means I'm gonna have to buy a Celestia one and get Nicole Oliver to sign that. I'm gonna have to bring my uh, Octavia one and have uh, Kazumi sign it. And I, I know Lib Libman's gonna be there, so I'm gonna bring my uh, Flash. I'm eventually gonna have every single one signed, except the only one won't be vinyl scratch because they won't contact no whacking to voice her. <laughs> Come it, on, man. You could still have no whacking sign it anyway. That is true. I can do that. Don't forget, Lipman also voiced Bon Bon. And Bon. Uh, yes, you need AKA to get. AKA Asian Sweet Drops. Oh my gosh. What? Spoiler alert. They freak. <laughs> no, they got it right on the vinyl. Three seasons before the episode was released. Yep. Un freaking believable. <laughs> I bashed that name so much, and then they decide, oh, we're actually gonna name name our agent Sweet Drop. What the hell? <laughs> Don't you just love this fandom? Shit. <laughs> All I gotta say is shit. <laughs> So yeah, this con was a lot of fun, a lot of cool stuff. A lot of, lot of busy working, you know, because uh, John and I were actually working the convention. Yep, we were at registration. Yep, we were working registration. Um, very fun. I thought it was actually very fun. Um, and of course, since I was working during the 100th episode premiere, we decided to watch us us down in the uh, at the registration. We decided to watch it like a half hour before everybody else. So we all knew what happened. That. But here's the thing. What did you name the changeling at the end? Fred! Fred the changeling. Hashtag. All I was here Read it for... out, y'all. Hashtag Fred the changeling. Hashtag all I was here was for the buffet. <laughs> oh, man. Hashtag no racism in ponies. <laughs> so funny. Hashtag why not? Hashtag cool story, bro. <laughs> Hashtag high five, bro. <laughs> what about you, Mike? What do you mean? What? Uh, anything else you want to add? I, I think Big Mouth over here got out pretty much everything. Okay. <laughs> Hashtag how many shit fix are we gonna come up with now? I have no. Okay, I'm idea. waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the Stephen Magnet and uh, Cranky Doodle Donkey ship. I am waiting for that. That will be. That will happen if it hasn't yet. 
That's going to be a really stupid one. It's going to be about as stupid as... <laughs> it's going to be about as stupid as the Snips and Snails ship. Yep. Or Doctor Who's and Big Mac. Ooh. Voiced by the same guy. <laughs> You're going to have a British guy saying... It's like, Yo. it's like we're friends, but closer. <laughs> Yeah, it's you're, like that SpongeBob it's gonna be a episode. It's gonna be a pony with a. It's gonna be a British pony who says "yup." Yup. In British. Yup. Yep. So yeah, uh, this was a lot of fun for a con. And uh, what do you rate it, sir? I rate it about an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Yeah. Um. What were your likes and what were your uh, your uh, wish they could have done a little bit better? Likes, I loved the rave setup. Absolutely. This was the best rave setup I've seen since Midwestria. Um, just so good. They had fog and lights, lasers, everything. It was so cool. Um, let's see. Uh, other likes, you know, the people that were there, like, you know, uh, getting to see Kathy and Tabitha and Ingrid, um, especially Ingrid seeing Emma Larson my again. Favorite lady ever. <laughs> She's your waifu. She is my real life waifu. <laughs> I am not afraid to say it. Um, Every time I'm around her, I'm, I'm like nervous as all hell. Yeah. Uh, dislikes. Um, I wish there could have been more variety for the panels. Um, I feel like maybe there was only like three that I truly wanted to see and I was able to see all three. Um, and one of them was the episode 100 viewing. So, yeah. Well, um, I wish I it wish wasn't it been bad, a little, but... I wish it have been a little bit of a bigger venue. Absolutely. But... but been, that's confusing of a venue, too. Kinda. But... For what they had to deal with and the location of it, I give it a nine. Okay. The only thing I, I did not like was that I mean it's eight. I was t I was talking to someone. They said there was more. There were more vendors than last year, which I mm -hmm. bought. But they need to get they need to get a few more vendors in there. I think cause it just seemed like a kind of like a small vendor hall ish. It's actually bigger than Cider Fest and Midwestria. No, Cider Fest was was bigger. Really? Cider Fest is bigger. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Maybe I'm just saying that because Corey's freaking booth was like ginormous. Yeah. Hashtag Ponyville Cider Fest 2015. Hashtag Corey Wood. Hashtag Winnie City Pony Con April 2015. And April 2016. Hashtag Cutie Corral. Yes. Order their ponies. <laughs> They're amazing. So. I have one. What would you rate this con? I probably would give it an eight out of ten in my reasoning. It's kind of like the combination of you, you like the rave to me was phenomenal, and the guys who performed there were great. And I was fucking exhausted after both of them, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Why not Eurobeat? This is the first con I've been to that there was no yeah. Eurobeat program. Like, what the? Yeah, I do feel like their their panels. There was just a lot of like only just the sit down talking and Q&A panels. I feel like there could have been a lot more variety. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it was yeah. all on just a sing on a single floor and that was it. We did do one panel that was really cool. It was called the Kathy panel and it was talking about different stories and stuff about being in the Brony fandom and how it's changed our lives for the better and stuff like that. I was actually expecting there to be a um, ping pong tournament because Kathy Westlake is extremely good at ping pong. Yeah, that would have been Because when I was at BabsCon, she did a ping pong tur er, uh, tournament and like, uh, and all the, all the proceeds went to uh, charity. And um, it was it was pretty ridiculous how good she was. Yeah. I think she lost like twice out of like 30 or 40 people. It was unbelievable. Yeah. So hopefully at... Um, Next con I see her, I wish she'll possibly be BronyCon. And if she comes to Cyrefest, I hope she does it there too. I want to see a ping pong tournament. I will enter and see if I can beat Kathy Wilson. So yeah, thank you guys so much for uh, hanging around with this con coverage. And uh, I'll be doing uh, two things this week, actually. Well, one this week and one next week. Uh, 
Monday night I'm doing the recording for uh, for the 100th episode review and then after that we're doing um, me and uh, my friend Think Tank um, are going to be doing an episode of Pony Psychology based on Tanks for the Memories. Should be fun. So, that's it from me, John. Uh, which way you want to go? I don't know. Where uh, do you want to go? I don't know. Where do I want to go? Me, Brian. Me, me, hashtag. I don't know. <laughs> me, Brian. Yeah, we'll go with that one. And me, Michael. We'll talk to you guys later.